Hello. For your operation, you may be offered a nerve block. A nerve block is an injection of local anaesthetic that makes the part of your body having surgery numb. They are a safe and effective type of anaesthesia and pain relief that can be used with, or instead of, a general anaesthetic. On the day of surgery, you'll be welcome to theatres before your anaesthetist meets you to talk about your general health, medications you may take, any allergies and so on. They'll explain the different types of anaesthesia available to you, including their benefits and risks, as they relate to you and your operation. Nerve blocks provide excellent pain relief during and for many hours after surgery, so fewer painkillers may be needed. Sore throat, sickness, drowsiness or other side effects of general anaesthesia can be avoided, so your recovery should be faster. Patients with significant medical problems who could be at higher risk from a general anaesthetic may benefit from a nerve block instead. In terms of side effects, bruising can occur at the injection site, but significant damage to veins or arteries is unusual. Serious reactions, such as heart problems or seizures, are very rare, and your anaesthetic team is trained to deal with these. Damage to nerves can happen after any kind of anaesthetic. Following a nerve block, some patients may notice a patch of numbness or tingling, usually getting better in a few weeks. Permanent nerve damage, although variable, is much less common. Your anaesthetist will explain everything that is involved in having a nerve block, but let's take a quick look. Nerve blocks are usually performed in a quiet area close to the operating theatre. The anaesthetic team will apply monitoring and perform routine safety checks. The anaesthetist will insert a cannula into a vein, through which sedation may be given to make you feel relaxed. If you're having a general anaesthetic, nerve blocks may sometimes be done after you're asleep. The skin around the injection site is cleaned and an ultrasound machine used to identify the nerves to be blocked. A small injection of local anaesthetic makes the skin numb before more is injected to surround your nerves. Sometimes a nerve stimulator is used, which may feel as a gentle twitching. Exactly which nerves are to be blocked depends on where on your body your operation will be. A few minutes later, you'll feel tingling and a warmth in the blocked area until it becomes quite numb and weak. Your anaesthetist will check to ensure that your block is working effectively. In the operating theatre, you'll be positioned so that you're comfortable and a screen placed so that you cannot see your operation, unless you want to. Bring a personal music player with you or a tablet computer may be provided with a choice of entertainment. A member of staff will stay with you. If you prefer to be more relaxed and drowsy, sedation can be used with some oxygen for you to breathe. During surgery, it is normal to feel some movement or touch, but you shouldn't feel any sharp discomfort or pain. If you do, you'll be offered more local anaesthetic, additional pain relief or a general anaesthetic. After theatre, you'll be ready for a drink before getting ready for discharge. Your block may last for several hours, so you'll be advised how to protect yourself until normal sensation returns. Also, remember the painkillers given to you and start taking these before the block wears off to ensure you remain comfortable as you continue your recovery at home.